Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. So now guys, the Supreme Court Governor of Imo State uh, speaks again. Hope Uzo Dima we're talking about. No rest for the wicked, enemies everywhere. As guys, I bring you this. Uzo Dima opens up on beef with Okorocha. So apparently this guy is also in a beef with Okorocha. Uh, a maker, a hideo, of course, he has a beef with as well, as well as the entirety of the Imolites who uh, rejected him at the election, but to their surprise, they are now uh, finding him in the uh, governor's seat. So again, the headline, Uzodema opens up on beef with uh, Okorocha. So now let's now see what the beef is between the Supreme Court uh, governor and Mr. Iberiberism. Imo State Governor Hope Uzodema at last has broken his silence on why he fell out with his predecessor, Rocha Sokorocha, shortly after he assumed office in January 2020. So, uh, Rocha Sokorocha, of course, is not the predecessor of uh, Hope Uzodema. He uh, a a Hideoha was the predecessor of uh, Hope Uzodema. So let's get that sequence right from the on start. We carry on. He revealed that his refusal to grant the request of Okorocha to stop all panels set up by Emeka Ehidoha to probe his administration elicited the current distance between the both of them. Whilst seizing the opportunity of the meeting to give a scorecard of his administration since it was sworn in on January the 15th this year, he further disclosed that Okorocha made a request to him that he should allow the Daniel Nwafo-led factional chairman of the APC in the state to continue because of his presidential ambition. But he said he refused to grant Okorocha's request on the dissolution of the panel because he believes that the people of the state wanted him, Okorocha, to be held accountable for his eight years of governance in the state, which he said they believed was not beneficial to them. There were two requests Okorota made to me when I became governor. The first was to dissolve the panels set up by Ehidioha to probe his administration. I refused to grant the request because as I told him also that I think the mode of, that should be the mood, but they wrote the mood, that I think the mood of Imo people was in support of the probe. When he made a second request of allowing Daniel Nwafo to remain the chairman of the APC in the state, I also declined and told him to allow the party and the laws of the land settle the issue in accordance with the rules of justice, Ehidioha affirmed. The meeting was said to have witnessed almost all the big names in the party, including Okorocha's former deputy, Eze Madwe Mary and majority of the aggrieved members of the party, except Okorocha and Senator Ifeni Arariome. It was observed that the meeting might have opened a new chapter for harmony again amongst members. So this is now a uh, uh, a beriberism versus a uh, Supreme Court governor is a laughable thing that is going on within Imo State at the moment, but I'm pretty sure that the Imolites are not uh, laughing because it's a tragedy to them, but a comic uh, thing to us, a comedy to us. So a tragic comedy in effect, what is going on in Imo State. I mean, just look at this element. Uh, Okorocha replaced by uh, a Hideoha uh, uh, and then uh, replaced by then Uzodimba. The only hope was that interlude of Emeka Ehidioha because you can see that it's a serious man and it's a driven man and that was exactly why the people of uh, Imo State uh, elected him to be their governor but alas the Fulanis are not uh, of a liking to him and if you are not to the liking of the Fulanis within the Nigerian space then woe betide you a maker a hideoha being the latest example conversations in the comment section the battle between Iberiberism and the Fulani governor of uh, Imo state is the topic of conversation uh, of this video come share thoughts but before you do that Click on the red subscribe button so it turns grey. The bell button notifies you every time I drop a new video. Click on like as well because that helps the YouTube algorithm. Once you've uh, 
uh, done the clickings, come tell me then where you were in the divide. Uh, a beriberism, Fulani governor, or a plague on both their houses. Come, uh, let me know uh, what your sentiments are. So I'll leave you here. Carry this conversation up with you in the comment section. But here, I say, peace.